This is insane. I have been diving deep into the rabbit hole that The Wizard of Oz, yes, the story, The Wizard of Oz is actually an allegory exposing the banking cartel that runs our lives. I posted the video yesterday and got this, and you know when that happens, it means that it's good. But let me show you what I found. Hopefully it stays up, but I promise you, the more I give you, the more it's gonna make sense. It's crazy. So let's start off with some easy ones. Why is it called The Wizard of Oz? O-Z. Ounces, what is measured in ounces? Gold, what is the yellow brick road? Gold bars. The yellow brick road leads to the Emerald City. Why Emerald? Well, on the back of all American money, you have these buildings that are in green. Emerald City represents the Federal Reserve, the Treasury. Now let's go deeper. Let's talk about the scarecrow, the straw man. He didn't have a brain, right? What does this symbolize? When a person is born, yes, they exist as a human being, but a new legal entity is also formed. Documentation in the form of birth certificates, social security numbers, these are the legal entities that represent you. Those legal entities have no brain. They are not conscious, but the system views you as a legal fiction. What does the scarecrow ask the wizard for? A brain. What is he given? A certificate. He's proud of his new brain, but it is not real intelligence. All right, the Tin Man. Like I said, at birth, you're given a social security number, but you also have a taxpayer identification number, T-I-N. But the Tin Man represents these heartless, robotic, mindless workers within the capitalistic system. The lack of the heart is the lack of passion, fulfillment within this work. Some say this represents people as mindless workers within the system. In the story, he literally rusts from overwork. The lack of heart and soul represents the emotional drain that mindless labor has on us, or how we become robotic in our daily tasks. I probably should have started with this at the beginning. Dorothy's journey emphasizes that individuals possess the power to reclaim their freedom. Let's talk about the field of poppies. What comes from poppy? Milk with the poppy, opium. This is an example of the distractions that are everywhere in society. Consumerism, mindless entertainment, drugs, alcohol. Things we use to numb us from our reality. The Scarecrow and Tin Man weren't impacted by it because they lack genuine human qualities. They don't have consciousness. The symbolism is we can be sedated by distractions. Okay, the Cowardly Lion. These are the people that on the outward appearance have the abilities to change things. They have the strength, the demeanor, but on the inside, they're cowards. He wants courage from the wizard. What does he get? He gets a medal. This represents the false sense of authority that are given to lions like this to keep them as cogs in the machine. These cowardly lions tend to oppress and hurt those beneath them. They want to make change for everyone, liberate everyone. But when they come upon bigger bullies, they're cowards. They fall prey to the system. Can you think of any cowardly lions in our system? Okay, going back to the Emerald City. It can represent the Federal Reserve, and it's built on this illusion of control, right? The gang goes to meet the wizard. They see a bunch of smoke and mirrors, fire, holographic images. All of it was designed to instill fear, to frighten you, to manipulate you into doing what the wizard wants. It represents the illusion of power. So what happens? Toto, the little dog, pulls back the curtain. What do we see the wizard is? a frail human being. This aura of power was just an illusion. Think of it this way, there's 8 billion people on the earth. What percentage are controlling the illusion of power? It's not a lot. So where does the power actually lie? Obviously the illusion is that it's the wizard. But get this, Toto represents the truth and power to expose these illusions. Toto in Latin actually means all. It symbolizes total awareness coming together as a people. And it is through all that you can expose the illusion as a fraud. I need to speed up. The Good Witch represents people that are giving you empowerment, education, lift you up on your journey. The Wicked Witch represents people that are a part of the system, who climb their way up, push people down to do it. They buy into and use the corruption to get ahead. Essentially, they join the system and then oppress the people below them. Who does all the business for the Wicked Witch? The Flying Monkeys. These are the enforcers, the attorneys of the world. People who use their intelligence, their power, to oppress others and keep proliferating this broken system. Imagine if the world's smartest attorneys were fighting against the system that is broken and inherently unfair instead of fighting for and being paid by those that benefit from the system. So what do we learn from Dorothy's journey? Like I said, we all have the power to reclaim our freedom. To expose the wizard, you need a brain that represents knowledge. You need a heart that represents compassion. You need courage to stand up against the system and not join it. And finally, Toto, you need collaboration. We all need to work together. The system incentivizes the me. We need to focus on the we. And how does she go home? She clicks her heels three times. She could have done this at any point. She always had the power to go home. If you are paying attention, it is very obvious right now that these broken systems, their foundations are cracking. Things are coming apart. So have a brain, have a heart, have compassion, have optimism for the future because we can and will build something better. It is coming. Earth's vibration is rising. But anyways, that rabbit hole was insane. Let me know what you think because it's pretty convincing.